Argumentation skills have been taught for centuries, if not millennia. So I believe it's always a bit better to have a bit of context when you start to learn a topic, especially on a course on logic, reasoning and fallacies that is pretty ancient. It actually dates back to antiquity. For instance, you probably have heard of the famous Greek philosopher Aristoteles. He authored a book on sophistical refutations that aims at helping students to identify the tricks of sophists, or in other words, fallacies. During antiquity and the Middle Age, the identification of fallacious reasoning was taught in what was referred to as the trivium. The oldest curricula of European universities and monasteries were composed of the seven liberal arts that was divided into the quadrivium and the trivium. We selected a couple of pictures illustrating the curricula. You can see them as an old form of brochure. The quadrivium was composed of disciplines such as arithmetics, music, geometry and astronomy and were related to what we would call nowadays the exact sciences. The trivium, on the other hand, regrouped three disciplines focused on the art of talking, of persuasion, uh, grammar, rhetoric and logic or dialectic. The course you are currently following is a descendant of this latter discipline. This curriculum has experienced quite some trouble in the Middle Ages as religious, religious institutions were slightly disorganized by invasions um, and raids, notably from the Vikings. Over the centuries, interest in the topic has known up and downs, but since the need for persuading people is kind of universal, it never fully disappeared and the printing press helped spread books on the topic. For instance, on the logic of the art of thinking by French scholar, uh, scholars of the 17th century uh, that was still used uh, till the 20th century. Or later on, Bentham's handbook on political fallacies. Nowadays, it is a common topic. Over the past decades, the spread of internet and the rise of fake news and conspirationist theories and pseudoscientific discourses gave a new strength to the movement that is sometimes labelled as skeptics. Those skeptics have produced countless videos over the years and we will naturally use a few of them and you can find excellent videos on most fallacies by yourself. By the way, as much as we would like you to know all of them, we won't be able to cover everything. There are too many, so we will just present a sample of them. As you will quickly notice, to illustrate fallacies, we will draw many of our examples from discourse that emerged during the pandemic crisis of COVID-19. Firstly, because many of these scripts were written during the lockdown, and secondly, more importantly, because we witnessed a parade of fallacies based on data. We deeply thank politicians from all over the world for providing pedagogical content for this class. To sum up, nothing new under the sun, there is a renewed interest for the topics we will teach in this class, but they have been taught for thousands of years. So, on the bright side, you are going to follow into the footsteps of hundreds of generations of students, with a difference though. As I've already said earlier, in this class we'll also learn a bit about data analysis and statistics, which I doubt were very hot topics in the middle age.